Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, well, thanks for joining me today. We are in Acts chapter 3. We're going to be beginning in verse 6. If you have your Bibles, turn to Acts chapter 3, verse 6. And I'm going to pray for us. We're going to jump into the Word of God today. Father, thank you for the powerful name of Jesus, your Son, and help us to understand what it means to live under his authority and operate by his authority. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 6 says, Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. You probably have heard this story before. Um, if you have been around the church a long time and in children's ministry, of course, you, you know, there's all sorts of songs that um, are sung about this moment. But Peter and John, uh, they're making their way to the temple. They pass by a lame man that they have seen, you know, a lot. He's lame from birth and um, so they're very familiar with this person because he's consistently out in front of the temple um, in a regular place asking for um, for money, for help. He can't, he obviously can't uh, work. There's really no welfare system and so he's just banking on the generosity of people. Peter and John pass by and Peter says something powerful, right? He looks down, he gazes intently at the guy, and he says, silver and gold have I none. By the way, for all of those health, wealth, and prosperity preachers and pastors, uh, you know, that say, if you're really walking in faith and you're gonna drive the roles, you're gonna live in the mansion, you're gonna wear Armani suits, and this is the lifestyle that they live. And then they pervert the scriptures, you know, to give this impression that that was the lifestyle Jesus and the apostle lives. They probably need to think about this verse because Peter did not pull out the bankroll and say, hey, dude, no problem, man. I've got thousands, you know, uh, here, you know, have, have, have some quan. That's not what he said. What he did say is, I don't have silver and gold. In fact, I've got something more powerful than that. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. You know, sometimes I think that we, uh, we look at money as like the uh, be all, end all. Like if we, and you know, this is just oftentimes what we hear from the culture around us. If you could just have more, right? If you could if you could have more resources, if you could have more money, if you could have more assets, like that's that's where freedom comes from, that's where happiness comes from, that's where true satisfaction comes from. Your life will be better if you just have all of this. It's, you know, every time someone says that, I think of the individuals who've won the lotto or, you know, whatever, whatever the state calls it. Um, you look at the lifestyles of those people, they lose their friends, a lot of times, you know, their lives turn into a total wreck. Uh, and in fact, you know, you look at some of the wealthiest people in the world and they're the loneliest, you know, their lives are the messiest. And it's just a total lie, right? There, there is no such thing as the almighty dollar. There are things that money just can't buy. And money, like I said, is not the most powerful thing. The most powerful thing is the name of Jesus. You know, Jesus is the one who can supply all the things that people think money can supply. He can supply real happiness. He can supply real satisfaction. He can supply real transformation. He's the one who is able to guide you in having healthy, meaningful, transformational relationships. And in this situation, it brought physical healing to this man. You know, what he needed wasn't another handout. What he needed was the power of the name of Jesus exercised in his life. And that's exactly what happens. You know, Peter shares the name of Jesus. There's a, a supernatural healing that happens in this man's life. And you're going to notice as we uh, consider this tomorrow that this man not only is physically changed, he's not just changed on the outside, but the real need that he had is met on the inside. And, you know, I love the way that the Bible expresses that. God help us as Christians not to live in a way where we are no different than the world, amassing assets for ourselves, thinking that if we can just increase our, our bankroll, that that 
satisfactions going to come that if we can just get you know a little higher up in the upward mobility and and have the opportunity to make a little more that somehow that's going to lead us to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow none of that is true if you're a christian the most powerful thing that you have in your life is the name of jesus christ and i want to encourage you today to start living under that authority and start operating through that authority. Have a great day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.